Oh, what's going on in here? Hello, senor. How can I help you? Oh, I just wanted, wondering what's going on over there. Oh, we're just having a nice little bit. Oh, Brett, are you guys cockfighting? No, 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 senor. Are you sure that looks like a cockfight? Aren't cockfights illegal here? <laughs> no, 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 senor. We're not betting on the cockfight. Well, what are you betting on then? Oh, we are betting on to see which chicken will fall asleep first. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're taking a look at this wall fair. Now this is a project in the future. It's not actually out right now. And uh, apparently it's you know going to come out in the near future. Um, basically why I'm looking at this is because I've been talking to some people about, you know, like investing in pre-sales or, you know, seed runs or what all these kinds of things, like trying to get in early and I'm just trying to learn about it. So one of the projects that my friend told me to check out is this thing here. So I decided to read through, I read, read through this light paper and uh, the one paper and click around and stuff and play and I've basically just going to share with you what I found. Okay, basically um, it's a predictions market. So it's a way to bet on certain things in real life and to make some cryptocurrencies in the long run. So let's go over to the roadmap here. There's a, I'm not gonna read everything in here. You can go through the roadmap carefully and decide what you think. Now it does say here that it's going to start testing on Polygon in uh, Q4. And uh, it doesn't say anywhere, I can't remember where, here right? it doesn't say anywhere here but i can't remember where but i think they they said somewhere that they're going to launch on tezos so take that into consideration you know tezos whatever you believe in that so read through you know this um the other thing like if you are planning on doing any kind of uh, investing in here like buying the pre-sale or anything i'm not i don't know anything about pre-sales and seed runs and stuff like that but you know, they're, they're, they have all this information here on the front and you know, take a look at the vesting schedule and the, the tokenomics and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through these in depth and tell you what I think about them because I think this is for, that's financial advice in my opinion. So you know, take a look at it if you want, if you don't want, all I want to do is talk about what is this thing and what is it going to do. And to do that, let's go through the ecosystem. This is in the, the light paper, okay? So we have this EVNT token, and this is the token of the entire ecosystem. So we have an event market. So what that basically means is it's a market, a market of tokens produced where you can bet on the outcome of some real life thing. So it could be anything. It could be, you know, like a, simply like a, like a sports game or, esports or you know who's going to be president or anything you can think of in real life that has a binary outcome of yes it happened no it didn't happen or yes uh, they won or they won you know which team won some team won so something that's binary in that sense okay so it has two outcomes now we have this liquidity pool and basically what that is it's it's going to hold the two tokens like maybe win token and lose token or or whatever, you know, maybe two presidents like President Smith or President Johnson, right? So it has this two, like this binary two tokens inside. Now we have the event creator, and this is the person who kind of like makes the pool, who, who they will probably need a lot of money to do this. It's not just anybody can just like open up a pool and be like, hey, like I wanna bet, hey, Johnny, you know, let's, let's have a bet, you know, who? I say that that girl's gonna say no to you when you go and ask her for her phone number. And then we just make a quick little like pool. That's not what this is for. This is for like large, uh, large betting things, right? Now, one of the things about this is like, there's already a lot of these systems outside in the real world on, you know, on websites and pro, uh, different places and stuff like that. So why do we need this blockchain version? And that is to try to share more of the, 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 the fees. So it'll be cheaper to use blockchain because there's not a bunch of companies, you know, holding events, running the stuff. It's all basically, you know, run in a decentralized manner 
to some extent. Like, like there's still going to be a team for this and they're still going to have teams running, but they're getting paid in the token itself. And so the, there's not going to be as much fees like for for actual the betters, the users. And I think that's pretty interesting. I think that's pretty good. So if we go down here, we have event creator program. So this is important because every time you trade uh, a token, let's say you come to the to uh, you want to bet on the outcome of some some event and you bring your EVNT tokens and you trade that pool. Well, then the event create you're going to get charged a trading fee and 1% of the trading fees goes to the event creator. 1% of the trading fees goes to this event creator program. And if you are an event creator, you can apply to join this event program. And you can possibly like if you're doing well, and you're bringing in a lot of traffic and trading fees, basically, then you will get an additional 1% of this. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to decide who is who is like exactly applicable to this because it doesn't go into that details here very clearly. And I didn't read every single little detail on the website. So platform liquidity pools. So another thing you can do in here is you can just supply liquidity to the pool. Like let's say you don't want to bet, but you think a lot of people will bet on this and it will be hard to decide who is going to be the winner. Then you might want to provide liquidity to the pool and then you can also gain a 1%, 1% of that liquidity stuff. Okay. And there's a few other, this other liquidity pool 1%. So cause there's 3%. Okay. 1% to the event creator, 1% to this uh, creator program and 1% goes to the liquidity pool providers. And that would include this person. I, I, I presume. Now there's another thing about staking your PLPs. You can stake those uh, LP tokens into the event and try to get some more fees. I'll show you when we go down into this ecosystem here. This kind of explains it pretty well. We have an event creator, you know, he decides to create some market. He seeds it with some some money and uh, some, you know, tokens, to the EVNT token, and he's going to gain 1% and he's going to try to get traffic there, get people to come and check it out. Now there are some other people who decide to offer some liquidity to to this pool as well, like I said, and then they can stake that uh, that PLP token into this like liquidity pool staking so that they can get their one percent uh, fees, right? Now I'm not sure exactly why they need to stake it. I guess it's just so that like they don't have to rebase tokens to all of these PLP holders. They're just going to get the fees sent to this pool, and then when you pull out your LPs, then you would dismantle them and you would get your fee profit as well. And then there's also this part down here, EVNT token holders can just stake their token into these pools, into the staking contract and also get a portion of that 1%. So there's a little bit of Im ambiguity here. It's not exactly clear. Um, maybe it's my laziness to read every single little detail, but uh, I'm not exactly sure why if 1% is going here, then is some of that 1% going to these guys and the rest going to these or who, who has priority? I would suggest that these people should have priority and then everything extra would then go to these guys in some sense. But there is only always 1% going out. Now, one more thing I did do is I read through this article here and it talks about like a promotional, like uh, try this thing out with like a and gain maybe if you if you're good and you can gain ten thousand dollars or i don't know if that's ten dollars oh ten dollars i guess for using uh, but you know anyhow if you use it you can get ten dollars and uh, try this out so i did click through you know i, I wanted to give it a chance I, I did the registering and it was pretty kyc -y. you know they wanted a lot of information from me but not they didn't ask me specifically for my id or my residence address. I was able to put fake stuff in there. And they said they're going, if you invite people, you know, try to share it, you can get some more tokens. Now I didn't invite anybody, so I'm sorry. Um, yeah, if you make a bunch of trading and then maybe you can win $10,000. So it does say here $10,000 if you win. And then here it says, you know, $10 that that might simply just be a typo. I, I, I don't know. Um, so I, I went through the process of trying to do this. And, uh, you know, I looked at some of these events that they're having and, you know, some of them are interesting, like, you know, big dog challenges. I wasn't sure what that is, a uh, 
Mario Kart racing, marbles, coin toss. So as you can see, some are pretty gimmicky and silly, like just literally like some girl in, a, in scantily dressed clothes flipping a coin and you bet on heads or tails, basically. Which is, you know, if you're into that, that's that's your, your, your game, I guess. But I, I tried to go through this and I tried to test it out and try it out. And uh, so I went through the process and I got to this stage here. And I couldn't figure out how to like actually take part in it. Just you know, invite my friends. I could give you this, and you could join and maybe get some tokens, and I would maybe get some more tokens here. But I'm not even sure whether or not these tokens are actually like testnet tokens or actual real tokens, or or what have you. But anyhow, I have signed up for this, so maybe I one day I will have. 1,000 EVNT tokens sitting on the Tezos network waiting for me, or if they do ever go to Polygon, maybe there will be some bridge or something and I can pull them over to Polygon or something. So anyways, I just wanted to show you this because I, I thought it was pretty interesting, this like prediction market system of like allowing people to bet on real world things. There's a lot more if you go really into depth and if you really read the um, this, this light paper here, they talk about the they talk about you know the the oracles and the fiat on ramp and all this other kind of stuff and they go a lot more into depth for somebody who wants to know what's going on here and somebody who perhaps doesn't understand what blockchain technology is and so forth so take a look at it if you like and uh, i don't know see if you're interested in this kind of stuff to be honest i i don't bet on things so i probably won't use this and i probably won't look at it any more than i have already so thanks so much for watching and goodbye